Next to dance is the Fair City favourite who wowed all the judges last week with his lifts. Now he's back on solid ground tonight for the ballroom classic, Dancing the Waltz. It's Shane Quigley Murphy and Laura Nolan. The lifts were incredible. This yes. is week one, it's huge! Seven! <laughs> oh my god, that was epic. This week we're doing one of my favourite dances and it's the waltz. Get out of town. The routine that we have, I'm after focusing a lot on the basics. In every ballroom dance, it's going to be about the frame. We're serving F-R-A-M-E. This a frame, or is this any use? Jeez, Jane, that's fantastic. OK, you have it on camera. She said fantastic. So whatever happens, we had the F word once. One. There's a beauty in the waltz, in the storytelling, a lot of moving parts. I'm nervous that if I'm too concentrated in focusing on the feet, that I might lose some of the storytelling within it. Shoulders down, elbows up. Nice. Shane is getting on really well with the waltz. I actually think he might be a bit of a ballroom boy. I think it's coming together. Still have another few days to put the finishing touches, but I think it's in a good place and I'm happy with it. Dancing the Waltz, Shane Quigley Murphy and Laura Nolan. So what did you think I would do at this moment when you're standing before me with tears in your eyes Trying to tell me That you Have found You another And you Just don't love me No more What did you think I would give At this moment if you just stick, I'd subtract 20 years from my life. I fall down on my knees. Just the ground that you walk on, baby. If I could just hold you. If I could just hold you. Excellent. The Waltz. Laura, you said it was your favourite dance. Is yeah. it now your favourite dance? Absolutely. There's so much beauty in the storytelling again. Michael Bublé doesn't hurt to have us a score as well. <laughs> not bad. He's not bad. He's not, not bad. bad. OK, we'll go to our judges, see what they thought. Brian, you're up. Right arm, frame, pretty good. Left arm, I'm going to go one better. Pretty perfect, actually, I have to say. Ooh. Best position I've seen for my left arm. Body line also really good. It gets a little bit weaker the further down we get. I have to say, the usage of the feet in the steps was pretty good. You got almost all of the footwork correct. It's difficult in slow walls. Where it needs a lot more work, attention to detail, the continuation of the line through those legs. When you put your leg out in some of those extended lines, you get a big broken look angle to the ankle. Make sure it's finished all the way out. And I'd love for you in the weeks ahead to see even more swing and power in these ballroom dances. So work to do, but the best frame I've seen in a while. Well done. <laughs> Huge compliment, Lorraine. Uh, all ballroom dancers really want to have the body type you have. It's that length and it's that width. And as Brian said, it really was a beautiful hole. A very dynamic hole that you, Laura, you do so well with because there is a height relationship there, a difference that you have to deal with it. But it was very good. I love the movement. You really went for that gorgeous elevation, the closing of the feet, but sometimes slightly ahead of the music, missing the whisk over there a little bit. But it's the toe line. 
spine. It's just when you do like that beautiful throwaway over sway, Laura is completely bending back. It's a gorgeous line and just the right toe is turned in. So it's just a little bit of attention to detail, but gorgeous storytelling. Okay. Lovely. Attention to detail, all very small things, right? Okay. All those small things, are they? Well, Shane, there is such a beauty in walls and there's an elegance about ballroom. And tonight, I think we have a ballroom boy in you, <laughs> which I loved. Yeah. You were nicely in hold and I have to agree with this too. <laughs> you had a great frame, really great frame, and you were in control of it. But yeah, the feet were a little bit messy. But you know what? You did it beautifully. You performed. So I was thinking, Salsa Shane last week, Ballroom Boy this week. What are you going to bring next week? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? A beautiful job by Shane and Laura, everyone. frame Brian has seen in a while. Did you work really hard on that? Yeah, it was a picture framer in another life, so I figured it might have uh, <laughs> spilled through. He did totally really hard, though. different vibe uh, to last week. Which did you enjoy more? Um, again, it's uh, like having your cake and eating it as well. I really enjoy the salsa, but there's a uh, beauty in the storytelling with Waltz that allows you to really drop into it. Granted, I, my right foot didn't get the memo. The rest of the body did, though. <laughs> it has time to get there. Are slow dances that a bit more challenging? Yeah, I suppose you'd be yeah, the expert absolutely in this. Is. Like, it, it means that you have to fulfill the music more. You have to also be very like, precise with the full feet and the swing. And it, it is. It doesn't leave any place for um, error. So, yeah. How do you think he did overall? Or? Absolutely brilliant. I was delighted with it. It was my favourite chance and he did me proud. Uh, busy week. You were back in Carrickstown, Shane. What are they all making of it? Yeah, flat to the mat. Uh, it's been really good so far. It's just back to back filming into this. So. Filming till what, 7 p.m. and then coming right, rehearsing until, until about... Right, 12 in the morning sometimes, yeah. so... And he doesn't complain at all, he's literally a trooper. Yeah, I, out. I have to say, though, I'm having a great time. Amazing. Like, I know how fortunate oh, we enough. are to do this, so thankful for every second of it. Beautiful. Scores are in. The judges have their scores. Brian Redmond. Six. Lorraine Barry. Seven. Yeah. Arthur Gurren Leanne. Now I got seven. But remember, it's not just up to the judges. You can vote for Shane and Laura when we open the voting lines by texting Shane to 53125. Shane and Laura, everyone! <laughs> We've another break to take now, but when we come back, it's Amore with Rory.